Okay, guys, you have just finished your mythic voyage, Choice OS mythic voyage. How do you feel? Super Super (laughs) (laughs) I feel like this is the most intensive heavy duty workshop in the world because it really gives you the opportunity to face your demons and love them and change yourself for the better in a way that you could never imagine. Yeah, it's the first workshop I've ever done, but I can't imagine one that is more heavy duty than what we've done the past two weeks. The things that happened here in two weeks would have probably taken months or years outside of this workshop, or maybe would have never happened. So in that way, it was pretty magic. I had some expectation, what I thought might be the intensity of the workshop, and. It was nothing compared to the reality. Like, it is a really cinematic experience. You have to go through some things to emerge the other side um, the way you do, um, both physically uh, and mentally. Um, and it's a great experience to, to sort of come out of, be very proud of uh, for taking part in. It was tough. You have to face up to things about yourself that you have avoided facing up to for a long time. Uh, and that's where you get the, that's where you get the benefit um, to actually realise that the way you've been behaving and the way you've been thinking about yourself has not actually been helping you or helping the people you love. Um, and so that was uh, the most powerful thing for me. This is not my first workshop, um, but the greatest gift that I got from this Choice OS is that it was much more powerful than the other workshops that I had done before. And with the new material that's being introduced and discovered in the work, I was able to go to a place inside myself that I had never gone before and really get to the root of my biggest sabotage in my life, which has been my self-hatred that I've carried with me for as long as I can remember. And so for me, I can't imagine a bigger gift than getting to the root of that and being able to bring it to my heart and use it as an ally instead of something that just dominates me and makes me screw up my life over and over again. Since getting to the root of this, I was able to switch myself into an energy where I was actually open to the love in my life. And I actually get it. The second biggest gift is that I got my fiance back. <laughs> so. Yeah. I've done other workshops as well, and I did an advance when I came here. Um, it was mostly because of Tom, my boyfriend, but it was also for my own self. I had had a big struggle with my, my direction because I, I'm a singer, and I've always had this big dream of making a music career. And in deep down, I just have never fully believed it, and I was given a direction with Tom that is just beyond what I I could ever have hoped for. It was not what I was expecting at all. And I just feel for the first time like it's actually possible. Like I actually am gonna go out and do this thing. Um, yeah, I'm just super, super grateful. I feel like I got a few guests from this workshop, but um, the one that sort of comes to mind right now is that I kind of felt that relatively I was doing okay um, in life, um, but that I was aiming way, way, way too low. And you can really shoot for the stars and achieve what you want and what you dreamed of um, and have the passion to then go and do it and achieve it. Um, So that was definitely, yeah, the the biggest gift for me. Yeah, I think the the greatest gift for me uh, is realising that I can actually impose myself on the world and exercise the power that I feel I've got inside me and not be so concerned by what people think of me and what is proper and what is uh, right. Uh, and actually I serve myself and my family and the people I love much more if I actually go for it and not care about those things and get out there and do shit. Yeah, it's like there's almost like a straight jacket you've been wearing your entire life that you didn't even realise you had and then to sort of understand and see how your beliefs are holding you back and restricting you and how liberating it could be without those beliefs that can really help you take on the world.
It's not like you come here and all of a sudden you a different person. It's just like you're more of the person that you should have been or that you can be. One thing that I really felt this workshop uh, in regards to navigating what's happening in the world is just a really deep, deep feeling of how the people that we admire most in history are the people that really didn't give a fuck about what was going on politically or socially or whatever. They just were following their passion. And these people were people that, you know, changed humanity for the better and did amazing things. And I really could feel how I feel my own clarity and no matter what is going on in the world, what changes or anything going on, I feel my own clarity and my own purpose and something that I, I know is timeless in my heart. So it doesn't matter what's going on. I know 50, 60, 100 years from now, people can look back at my work and see, wow, she was really going for what she felt what she wanted and her own clarity in spite of anything else happening. I feel like this workshop has given me the tools to navigate this craziness that's happening in the world um, in a way that serves me better I've always been quite aware of what's happening and I always wanted to fight it in a negative way um, externally, uh, especially on social media. And I feel now that that's not necessary and that I can make the changes within myself to not follow the trends in the world and just be a better person for me. I feel like this really opened my eyes what's really going on, always new that there was something weird going on, but this gave me a lot more clarity that was really going on, and it's a little bit scary, but also I feel very prepared now. So. Yeah, I found that um, something that's helped me prepare for the world that we live in is that actually I was wasting so much of my thinking energy and worry on things that actually I A, couldn't influence, B, I had no impact on, or C, um, had nothing to do with me and to sort of be liberated from that sort of uh, mentality opens you up to care more about yourself and give yourself opportunities, um, which at the end of the day should be the most important thing. I feel like I'm more prepared for what's to come, um, whereas previously I was sort of living in the present of what's happening right now and, and you know, where that relates to me, but to sort of understand the trajectory gives you a lot more clarity and scope on, on where the world will go. Um, Firstly, so you can protect yourself, but also your loved ones and your family too. The advice I give someone if they were thinking of coming to a workshop is, yeah, just go for it. Even if you think my issues aren't so complex and they don't deserve so much attention, you have no idea what you've buried or if you they feel is just a surface level issue. Um, there's so much you can get out of doing the workshop more than you would ever really expect. Yeah. I mean, I came into this workshop thinking that I didn't really have any major issues to deal with. Um, and, you know, I found some pretty important stuff that actually I need to fix about myself and fix in my life. And so, yeah, it was, it was a really profoundly worthwhile thing to do. Like Colin said, if you think there's nothing wrong with your life and everything is in place, there's probably something there and you should just go for it. Yeah. Even if it's just levelling up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Always aim higher. Yeah, I was already feeling really happy because I've been doing the work and I had come to other workshops. I just want to go deeper and to get more and more inspiration. And I got that completely. So, yeah, it's for everyone, really. I was just blown away by all the Timothy Kins and the way we were hosted. So, of course, yeah, like just do it and know that it's like what you'll find is so precious and the, the quality and what you receive is so much more it's beyond anything else that I've experienced. So, are you excited to go back to your lives now? <laughs> Fuck very yeah! Very excited to go back to our very, lives. Very yes. excited. <laughs> go build a life. Yeah, <laughs> I've got a plan that is... Uh, equally scary and awesome, and I'm uh, <laughs> excited to go and start working on it. For the first time, like a real vision with a higher purpose and something I can really feel makes sense for everybody, and for first and foremost for me and for her. So I'm very excited and I'm ready to face the challenges. <laughs> there is only one last thing to say. <laughs> <laughs>